he has it all now. Bane of Glames and Cawdor, and now King. But I feel Macbeth has not earned those titles honorably. But the witches promised I would be a father to a line of kings. But should I trust them? No more of this talk. Here is our guest of honor! If Banquo wasn't here, this celebration would be a bad one. There is a feast tonight, and I ask that you attend it. Allow me to obey your orders, as my loyalty to you is unbreakable. <laughs> we leave this afternoon? Yes, sir. I wish you could attend the feast tonight, but we could always do it tomorrow. <laughs> is your ride far? I will ride as long as I can, un unless my horse doesn't cooperate. <laughs> Don't miss the feast. That I won't. I hear the king's sons have fled to England and Ireland. They have not yet to confess of their murders. They tell others lies of their innocence, but more on that tomorrow. Goodbye until the night. Is Flounce going with you? But of course. <laughs> I hope your horses are fast and do not fall, and you safe as well. Let every man live his life as he wishes. We will see you at seven for supper. May God be with you. Thank you. Turn these men out, wouldn't you? They wait for you at the Game, my lord. My fears for Banquo are true. He will have royal descent, and that is why he must be feared. He has a fearless mind and wisdom to guide himself with. He is the only one that I fear. And while he is here, my genius cannot be used. The witches told me that I would be a king, but then they told him that he would be the father of several kings. They gave me a title with no ability to pass it on to my kin. I have murdered Duncan for Banquo's children. They are why I disrupted the peace of the kingdom. I have earned the title of king just to give it to Banquo's children. This is the fate I would give I was given. Who is there? Did we not speak yesterday? Yes, we spoke yesterday, Your Highness. Stop doing that! You consider my idea. Know that Banquo is the cause of all your misfortune. It is not I who you thought it was. Obviously, I am innocent. He has deceived you, thwarted you, and done all bad deeds to you. This you thought was I. You have explained it all. I am one that has been affected by the universe in such a way that it has caused me to act recklessly. I feel the same. I am sick of this life. I would compromise anything to fix it. We are men, my lord. Yes, you are men. There are many dogs, but if you were to listen to us in order, you'd be able to tell which one are clever. Strong, fast, and good hunters. Same with men. If you are brave enough, then you will enact my plan. I am weak as long as Banquo lives. When he dies, I will be strong. Stop doing that. He is my enemy also. I hate him so much that as long as he lives, my heart is weak. I am the king. I would have him killed in an instant. But I don't want to lose mutual friends over his death. Anyway, no, my lives! <laughs> I can see the determination in your eyes. I will let you know in an hour. Murder him away from the palace so I may not be of any suspicion. Kill both him and Fleance. Both are equally as important. We will commit the <laughs> crime, crime, my lord. <laughs> I will find you tonight. Stay close. Banquo must die tonight. Banquo, your soul will be going to heaven.